Hi, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. I'm going to take you for a walk around an Iron Bull 7x16 triple axle 21,000 pound dump trailer. This is a low profile design. Let's take you for a walk around the trailer. We'll show you all the standard features. The only thing shown on this trailer would technically be uh, options would be the spare tire mount See right there. And then ramps technically on this are an option, although we put them pretty much on all the trailers that we have built. Oddly enough, some things like a tarp kit, which normally would be an option, are standard on this, as well as features like the dual jacks you see up front. So let's start out up front, take a look at all the features on this particular trailer. So we're going to start with a cast adjustable coupler. Notice they do the heavy duty chain holder integrated coupler up front, it's a neat style design. Uh, one of the features I like on their trailer would be the front um, lock style. Instead of a paddle lock, this one here is a T-handle lock. Just uh, seems to work a lot better, looks nicer. It's actually got uh, little guys here that pull out that you can put a pad lock through for security. They're using an interstate deep cycle marine battery. It's a KTI pump. Hydraulic power up, power down, uh, as evidenced by the two solenoids or two coils on the pump there. Also got a 110 volt charger built in. Simply plug house current extension cord into the outside. And it'll keep your battery maintained. 20 foot all weather remote cord, standard equipment on the trailer. This particular unit's got a six inch, 12 foot pound I-beam frame. Uh, this one here is a little bit heavier than would be a, uh, some of the new styles have a unibody front to back. This one's a stacked frame. So in this most critical area on the dump trailer, You've actually got 24 foot-pound of frame in that area. Also notice that it's gusseted out at the bend and then also it wraps all the way back to the spring hanger. So that'd be what we call a full wrap tom. On this, as mentioned, it's also a dual 12K jack. Now those jacks, of course, are spring assisted at the bottom. They've also got grease zerts for serviceability. This trip axle is going to have a 5x20 scissor hoist. A couple nice things on this scissor. Scissors made out of tube, so it's not going to rack and twist because of the shape of the, uh, the mechanism. Scissors going to be a little bit more efficient than would be a, a dual piston as it mounts farther forward. Uh, as you'll see on this scissor, this is a triple axle, so they mount ever so slightly different. But generally, a, a scissor is always going to mount at about the front side of the fender on a trailer, whereas a dual piston generally is going to mount about the midpoint of the fender. So on a scissor hoist like this, you're going to get about three feet or so more leverage. And of course, leverage is going to be the name of the game on a dump trailer. Two foot sidewalls on this are standard. It's a 10 gauge side and floor. One thing they do that's nice, it's a two piece uh, from the top of the wall to the center of the bed. So let's take a look at how they seam it. So from the top of the wall all the way to the center of that floor is all made out of one piece of steel. Now the nice part about that is you don't have a corner seam. Uh, as we've seen from some of the trade-in trailers that are 10, 15 years old, generally a trailer is going to deteriorate from that seam because that seems to be where things uh, would lay. But generally, if it's a full seam weld, that's going to be better than uh, a stitch or a spot weld. But again, this one has no corner seams. This has Dexter axles, triple axle. It's got the uh, never adjust brakes. It's also going to have easy lube hubs. So behind the black cap in the center of the axle, there's going to be a greaser. An average homeowner with hand tools is going to be able to service the bearings on this particular unit. It does have slipper spring suspension. So between the axles there you'll see uh, it's going to be a little heavier duty suspension than would be an eye to eye suspension that you sometimes see. Standard equipment on this is going to be a 16 inch 235 80 R16 10 ply radial tire. It's going to be a load range E. It's going to be an 8 lug. Iron Bull on these use a little bit heavier stud. Instead of a half inch, they jump up to a 9 16th uh, stud on these. So a little bit heavier all the way around on this unit. They do the double broke fenders. Of course, the more brakes in the fender, stronger it's going to be. They also put a gusset returning that fender uh, back to the bed frame, which is going to stiffen it up a little bit and protect that fender. Put a banjo eye on for additional tie down locations. And then, of course, you've got stake pockets if you wanted to build the side up higher than what it already is. Six inch tubular bed frame, standard equipment. I look around the industry, sometimes you're gonna see a four inch uh, tube. Sometimes you also see channel or an angle. A six inch tube is certainly gonna be one of the heavier bed frames in the industry. 
Underneath on this, you'll notice I, uh, Iron Bull does this totally different than pretty much everything in the industry. This has uh, ramp runners or bed sills that run parallel to the trailer. Now they've got a few functions. One would certainly be to give a lot of structure to that trailer right underneath where your tires would go with loading equipment. Second one would be to tie the scissor into the bed runner. And then the last one would be it actually doubles as your ramp carrier. So very smart design, good use of steel on this. Again, different than most in the industry. And again, the biggest single benefit uh, to me would be you've got the extra support right underneath where your equipment's gonna go. So again, it's got a six inch tube bed frame. And then this is a 10 p I'm sorry, 10 gauge, two piece sidewall and floor. They put this integrated body stiffener in. Now you notice that is uh, formed into the trailer. That's not welded on. It's a very strong sidewall setup. So you get the benefit of not having the corner seam. Plus you're getting 10 gauge on the wall where oftentimes you might see 11, 12, even occasionally I've seen 14 gauge here. So very, very heavy sidewall. Nice nicely laid out there they use a nice heavy duty uh, rear corner post uh, they do prep the trailer for rear jack stands it's not standard but it is something that can be added on without uh, a welder fabricator uh, torching your trailer you know your brand new trailer to add it so it is jack stand ready this is a three-way gate so you've got your pin up top if you want to lay it down like a pickup truck you can set you also can set the gauge and let it uh, spread like a dump truck or you can open up uh, the barn door and you can use it in a barn door manner which certainly would be the most common way two hinges on the door get grease zerts on both the hinges here you see a retainer for the sail bar so the sail bar up front's got a, a bar stock that goes across that would simply come back and uh, it would tie into the retainer there at the back. One nice part about this gate, there are a few nice things. Uh, it's got the integrated keyway in that gate, uh, whereas a lot of them won't do that. Now, the reason I find that important would be if you're dumping stone or whatnot and spreading stone on this, you got a lot of force on the back of that gate. Uh, this is a little bit thicker gate, two and a half inch, uh, versus industry standard, it's gonna be an inch and a half or two inch. So, a little beefier gate. Uh, this keyway certainly makes it very heavy duty instead of getting the typical deflection you would see very stout gate then one of the other features would be this is an auto latching gate so you'd swing it around and it's going to auto latch uh, another neat setup from iron bolt these are a hook style ramp ramps are going to pull out from underneath they're going to simply hook onto that back bar and give support for your ramps this also you notice has the stake pockets around the back of the trailer so you can build up sides if you choose on all sides of the trailer. Lights on this are all LED. Got your stop turn tails and your markers. Again, I like how the uh, lights on the fender gussets are gonna be protected. Going down the sides, you also notice the supports underneath for the fender, and then you'll notice the J-hooks uh, running down the long sills on this. They would be there for attaching a bungee cord to the tarp grommet, so if you, want to tie down your tarp kit makes it a little bit easier to do that of course the trailer is powder coated it's got a fully sealed wire harness this is available in a 71621 k this here is the bumper pull or tag style trailer also offered in a gooseneck model if you have any questions about this trailer or any of our other trailers feel free to check us out on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com or you can also call us at 717-220-4220. Thanks for looking.